In this video, we will discuss effect of exercise, respiration, position, and Valsalva maneuver on the cardiac murmurs. So what are the effects of respiration on the murmurs? The right-sided murmurs increased with inspiration and left-sided murmur increased with expiration. So what will be the effect of inspiration on tricuspid valve murmurs? Since the tricuspid valves are on the right side, so the tricuspid valve murmurs will increase on inspiration and decrease on expiration. What about Graham steel murmur. The Graham steel murmur is that of pulmonary regurgitation and it's on the right side so it will increase on inspiration it occurs on in the second intercostal space and it is difficult to differentiate from the aortic regurgitation murmur they are close to each other the aortic regurgitation murmur is in the third intercostal space on the left side both of them are diastolic murmurs and they are difficult to differentiate but the graham steel murmur will increase on inspiration it's a right sided murmur but the aortic regurgitation murmur will decrease on inspiration because it's a left-sided murmur. The aortic regurgitation murmur increases on hand grip exercise. The left-sided murmur, they increase with expiration. The mitral and aortic valve murmurs will increase on expiration. Now the effect of exercise on murmurs. So what happens in exercise? There is increased blood flow through the normal and obstructed valves during the exercise. So the murmur becomes loud or the murmur Murmur of pulmonary stenosis, mitral stenosis, aortic regurgitation, mitral regurgitation, mitral stenosis, and ventricular septal defect. They will all increase on exercise. But hypertrophic cardiac myopathy murmur will decrease on exercise because of decreased filling because there is thickening of the interventricular septum. Now the effect of position on the murmur. Most murmur they decrease on standing whereas most murmur increase on squatting. So they are opposite to each other. Most murmurs decrease on standing and increase on squatting. That is when you go up the murmur goes down and when you go down the murmur goes up. But exception to this are the murmurs of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and mitral valve prolapse murmur. Both of them hypertrophic cardiomyopathy murmur and mitral valve prolapse murmur increase on standing whereas other murmur they decrease on standing. And the same murmur the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy myopathy murmur and mitral valve prolapse murmur they decrease or may disappear on squatting whereas the other murmurs they increase on squatting so mitral valve prolapse on standing and well salva maneuver the click and murmur come closer they come earlier the click and the murmur comes earlier moves to the left and it becomes earlier so the murmur is increased in mitral valve prolapse due to decreased left ventricular volume and mitral valve prolapse and on a squatting and exercise which diminish the mitral valve prolapse click murmur complex is delayed so on sudden standing mid systolic click becomes early systolic and on sudden squatting mid systolic click becomes late systolic so it's decreased on squatting and increased on standing the effect of Valsalva maneuver now. The effect of Valsalva maneuver on murmurs are same as that of standing. That is most murmurs decrease on Valsalva maneuver as they decrease in standing. Exception to this is the same exception over here too. Murmur of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and mitral valve prolapse increases on Valsalva maneuver. Although the mitral valve prolapse murmur increases but the systolic murmur of mitral regurgitation that decreases and it also increased by hand grip exercise and reduced by Valsalva maneuver. And the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy murmur increases on Valsalva maneuver and increases on standing. 